Let's look at number one. Now, what's going on with number one here? It's we have absolute value of x plus two equals to seven. Now, we always want to clean things up like this, all right? We want to clean it up so that we have just the absolute value expression on one side and everything else on the other side. And that will allow us to see this situation very clearly. So if we want to remove the absolute value symbol, then we say, oh, there are two scenarios. What are the two scenarios here? X plus two could equal to? Seven. And X plus two could also equal to? Negative seven. And then we say, oh, Go ahead, find out what X is. Hmm, X plus two equals to seven. So you subtract two on both sides, or you just think about it. What plus two gives you seven? It's gotta be five. Okay, it's gotta be five. And then you say uh, X plus two equals to negative seven. You subtract two on both sides. So X is equal to negative nine. Now, remember, we are solving. We are trying to find solution. And solution or solutions are the values that would make a statement true, right? So we need to, uh, you know, either you do it on paper or you do it in your mind. So I'm going to show it how they would or would not make a statement true. Okay, so five plus two, it's seven. Absolute value of seven is seven. So this is good. It is a solution because it makes a true statement. Okay, and on the right, we'll say, all right, let's go ahead, put the uh, negative nine back to the original equation and see if it produces a true statement. And we say, uh, what? We say, yeah, maybe. Well, absolute value of negative seven is what? Seven. Seven equal to seven, it is true. So in this case, they will both be solutions. Okay, easy.